it's Omega. We have a combo today. It's Marshalls and Ross, but there's only three items from Marshalls, so I decided to just toss it all together. These first two items are both from Marshalls. This is just a teeny little half tank that is strictly for layering, and I will show you. It basically has little itty bitty elastic band things for straps and is totally not to be worn as I'm wearing it right now but I figured it would give you a, a really nice view of the pants if I did it this way. So I went ahead and did that. I got this to be able to wear under shirts that require boob coverage when you bend over. This will keep the girls covered and secure. Uh, and this, let me see if I can find the tag. <laughs> I'm not sure. Mm. Nope, can't see the price on there. But here's the pants, and these pants I got for $14.99. Um, they are by Rewash, Wide Leg Pant. And what's fun is they have a nice length on them. They are very flowy. The pattern is kind of cool, but they have this slit up the side to here, but then it crosses over itself, so you're not going to end up showing a bunch of junk that you don't want to show, but they do have a little bit of fun going on. I did want to show this, though. What I did is I put on green panties. This is my test for light pants, and you can see. You can see where my green panties are. So these would require you to plan ahead and wear panties that are flesh tone, whatever your flesh tone is. I tend to use the nude during um, the winter, and then in the summer when I start getting my tan, I need to get the brown, or else the nude shows up like an off-white through stuff, and it looks horrible. Um, but I really love these. I think they're, they're Quite nice. They have a really good feel to them. They have smocking for the waistband. This is all just smocked. There's nothing but that. Uh, that's all that you get. And the little seam that comes here that then goes to your two little slits. And I'm just wearing an old pair of Tommy Hilfiger wedges from Ross. Figured for a Ross haul that would work, right? So we will go ahead and uh, move on to the next item that I got for Marshalls and then everything else is going to be Ross and there are some shoes. Okay, we have a top from Marshalls and I'll get up close so you can see the pattern and the coloring on this, which I think is extremely cool. We have this cream and this tan on this burnt orange background and this top is all smocked. So it's not tight on the neck at all. It's very stretchy and comfy, and it comes up nice and high under the armpits, which is fantastic. Just a straight bottom, doesn't do anything special. And uh, it is a good length. I like where it lands. And um, you do, as you can see, have a little bit of the bra showing, but this bra has quite wide straps. With a thinner strap, it might not show. Or if it does, then just wear a racer back bra, no big deal, or do that little clippy thingy with your normal bra. But I just love the color, and the fabric is very nice. I think that, uh, yep, 100% rayon. <laughs> Shocker, I picked something rayon, right? And then these pants um, are from Ross. You can see they're quite short. They're really quite short, but they're interesting. They are just pull-on leggings with like a faux suede and then some of the panels. Oh yeah, there you go. You can get the snake skin just on these darker panels that are here on the hips and then down here. And these are by Mark New York. There's the little deal -a -wobby. And they're just, you know, pull-on leggings. And I figured these would 
actually be for winter. These were on clearance. I got them for six dollars and uh, I doubt that I will wear them until fall and winter but I liked them for the color and this fun little pattern going on. A lot of this will probably actually get hidden in the winter because I'll be wearing them with you know knee-high brown boots or knee-high black boots and so on but you know if not then I'll have combat boots that come up to their issues I guess. So here's these two pieces. This is the last one from Marshalls. Now everything is gonna be Ross. Be right back. Okay, we are now fully to Ross. I will come in closer so you can get a nice look at this shirt. It has this lovely ruffle along the collar and the sleeves and then the notch V, which does not have a button, but it does have a little hook and eye closure. So if you wanted to do it up, you could, but I do not want to. It comes up nicely right here. These are both, <clears throat> excuse me, these are both extra small. The skirt is Mark New York again, and I'm going to show you this and uh, the problem I'm having with it. <laughs> this is an extra small. My waist is up here. This is not right. <laughs> I mean, I could wear it down here, um, you know, and have it be a little slacker vibe, I guess. I like the little gold buckle, like all his stuff does. It has the little thing and it says, you know, Mark New York. And it is also a faux suede. And then this panel here has the snakeskin bit again. And the length on this is nice. It's a just shorter than T length, I suppose knees are here so it comes down like that and so I'm torn on this because I wanted it to fit my waist <laughs> but no and then it would be just past my knee which is a really great length but it's an extra small so that's as small as it gets and there's nothing I can do um, this top is not so much lined as it is just a double layer of this very sheer, you know, polyester fabric, but it's not the scratchy kind. It's pretty soft and it is just like all White House black market stuff, just tailored beautifully and it fits beautifully and everything about it is just so well made. <clears throat> and to find it for seven dollars instead of going to White House Black Market and probably paying sixty, <laughs> I'm very happy. Back in sec. This is another outfit that will probably wait until fallish, but I'll probably use this sweater. I don't know. It's pretty thin. It's a wonderful soft material, and I love the sleeves and then how it comes in and sits nicely on the waist. But these pants are. Kind of a, a purple burgundy faux leather pant. You can see the length is quite good. These are by BBJ and they're high-waisted. Quite nice. And there is the um, teensiest bit of gapping but as I've said before leggings aren't really pants so generally you always have something covering at least this much of it, if not, you know, going down like that. But I wanted you to be able to see them so I didn't do the full on covery cover thing. But these are very stretchy and very comfy and they aren't doing what the Spanx uh, that I got at Target did and make that hideous sound of doom. <laughs> and uh, they don't feel confining the inside of them. Um, feels, kind of feels like I'm wearing leggings, um, just regular leggings. It doesn't feel like a lot of the backing on this stuff is often a little itchy. These just feel like I'm wearing a comfy pair of leggings. So I really like that. And these were $7. This top is $17. Um, it's by a brand I don't know. Um, there you go but I just liked the look of it. And so I went ahead and got it. 
despite not knowing if I was getting a super good deal or not, 17 bucks for a sweater top like this is a good enough deal for me. I don't care what brand it is, to be honest. So here's this, and we'll be back. These two things, I kind of got to go together, and sadly, it's a partial fail. This is an Ann Taylor top, and I absolutely love it. I'll come up here so you can see the pattern in this. It's just a little floral. Ignore that, it's just one of their little stickers. And uh, you can see that lovely color inside of all of the leaves and the flowers and the bugs. And it goes nicely with these pants. These pockets are actually functional, which is nice. Uh, these are by Chico's, I believe. Yes, and here's the problem. Chico's, I got the shortest or the smallest I could get, which is a double zero. <laughs> and it's still a huge fail. Um, this top was on clearance for $5.50. I will be keeping this. It has this little ruffle along the top, and then in the back up here, it has the hook and eye. I didn't do it because I'm just gonna be changing again in a second, but that's how it stays on. Now these, <sighs> double zero, and it's just ginormous. Chico's has really weird sizing. If I remember right, a double zero is really a size two, so that's where the problem come in, and I forgot that. <laughs> but they're just gonna require constant yanking up in this because they keep slipping down. And then I get this eh, in the crotch, and I don't care for that. So these are gonna have to go back. These were only $9.99, and I'm so sad they don't work. It's a total bummer because they are super cute. You can see the length, they're, you know, a nice little capri. Has the little notch down here. And I like them very much, um, but they just don't fit. Hmm. And this shirt is kind of like a t-shirt material. It looks like it's all fancy schmancy, but it feels like I'm just wearing a casual tank top. You like that? So we'll go ahead and move on. We are back. We have a White House Black Market top, loft bottoms. This is again the uh, sweater vest ishness, kind of like the white one, but not exactly the same. This one has a rather deep V and would require wearing something underneath it if I were to choose to try and actually function in the real world. And let's show you these pants. They have the three buttons here and then the zipper here, little functional pockets here. This is as deep as they are. And then this is the back, standard functional pocket back here. And they come up about an inch above my ankle, which I expected from Loft. They seem to do that. I really love, love, love the army green color. It's one of my favorites. I have lots of favorites. <laughs> but these were $9.99. This top here was also $9.99. White House Black Market Loft. And these items will get tons of use as this is a complete neutral and this is something that I have plenty of things in that will coordinate with it. Let's move on. Never in a million years would I put this together, but it gives you a good look at the pants, so we'll go ahead and do that. This is, again, another little small cami that can be worn under stuff, but she's faux leather. I have it in this kind of off-white, and then I also got it in black, which is gonna be awesome. I want to wear you know my faux leather leggings I can put this on and then like have a long sleeve button down shirt kind of unbuttoned to here-ish that then covers all the everything but looks super cool and these were 10 bucks a piece and they amuse me now here are these pants I often don't care for what stripes do in the back, but these ones don't upset me too much. They come with a, a you know, fabric matching belt that has this tortoise shelly-ish button that's just the, or buckle that's just the pull-through kind. 
but I will come back. They are a wide leg crop and they do have pockets, but they're sewn shut right now. And I, you know, didn't want to undo that as of yet, but they do have pockets on each side and there are no pockets on the back, which is fantastic because they don't particularly care for that on slacks, especially when they put the little button there. <laughs> no. And these actually are an extra small petite and in crops, I'm cool with that. Uh, petites, I can't, I can buy and wear them as crops. Uh, so that worked out. And these, they sold at Ross for $9.99. And right here is the J. Jill tag. And they uh, are priced at J. Jill for $89. So there's a fantastic savings. And I really love the colors in here. Let me get up. We have a brownish tan and a baby pink on this lovely off-white, and it's a, a linen feel that's uh, very nice and soft, um, no itch or anything like that. Let me see if the tag tells me what she's made of. No, nope, not there, so it must be somewhere else, but it honestly feels like cotton or a cotton rayon blend. So when I get them off, I will let you know. But they fit quite nicely. I like them very much. And they can be done casual, really, or dressy, just depending on what you want to put with them. I mean, I honestly could just wear a tank top and some flippies or sandals with this, or even some little tennies and be good to go. Or I could toss on some heels and a nice blouse and be good to go. So I thought that these were a great find and these will be super useful. Change it up completely. <laughs> These jeans are destructicated, as you can see. They do have functional front pockets. They do have functional back pockets. Um, what I like about the distressing is that only right here really does it actually go through. Everything else is destructed but still covered. Um, you can see the length. It's a little short, kind of an ankle length. These are a Junior's brand. They are Blue Savvy, there we go, Blue Savvy Denim. And they are a size three. And they were on clearance for $5.99. So since I own no destructive, destroyed jeans, I figure for six bucks I could give it a shot and see if I like them. And I don't, I don't hate them. I'm not in love with them that I don't hate them, but for, you know, that price, I will certainly wear them, um, and I have once already. I will go ahead and show you here. They actually come up reasonably high, and because they are a genius brand, like I said, I did get the three. Normally, I'm a zero or a two, and I just find that Junior's brands, um, as we all know, aren't is built for curves and so if I only go up to the size one um, like you normally would only go up one size go from a two to a, th a three or a zero to a one if I get the ones they're just way too tight right here and around my butt they smash my butt flat and I don't care for that my butt has enough problems going on um, since I got lazy and it turned into a mother butt I don't need to add to that <laughs> by going into the size ones. So, yeah. Um, and then this t-shirt, you would think, looking at it, that it's white. Yeah, right? Nice little loose crew neck, loose sleeves. I, I'm not wild about their sticky outiness, but they really aren't that bad. A lot of t-shirts do that. But here, I'm gonna put white next to this and sunshine, as you can see, it's just the lightest, 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 light blue one could possibly find. And so I liked it. And this was on sale for $5.50. It's a very nice fabric. It is 50% modal and 50% supima cotton. So very soft, very comfortable, and just I like that it's just the softest, softest, softest blue. Here's what it looks like out. A little bit, teeny tiny bit of a rounded hem. 
and it's just a little casual, doesn't get tight anywhere, relaxed t-shirt. And so we'll move on. We have a brown White House Black Market t-shirt. I'll get up close so you can see this along the collar here. It's a, a nice little scoop here and the sleeves are nice and fitted. It's a beautiful brown, it's a beautiful fabric, and um, like I said, White House Black Market, this is an extra, extra small, so it's more fitted than the extra smalls are on me. And let's see here. She is made in Indonesia, 100% Pima cotton. So, nice quality fabric, lovely fit, and a lovely brown, which is a neutral that I did not have. Next, this t-shirt is by the brand Alternative. It is just an extra small, and I'll get up close so you can see. It's a pink, but a dusky pink camo print and it has a crew neck, and this is actually a um, Mrs. Active Top. So for those of you who are looking in the short sleeve section in the Mrs. or over in the Juniors, don't forget to look in the active area because that's where you're gonna have a lot more of your basic t-shirts. And they will even have patterns like this. There's long sleeves, tank tops, and t-shirts that are all in the Mrs. Active. And you're gonna find just your basic t-shirts there that don't have sayings, don't have floof, don't have, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Sometimes you will find the brand names there, like your Nike and so on. But never skip the active section if you're looking for just plain old t-shirts and tank tops, because a lot of times they live there. This is uh, 60 Poly 30, or no, no, 35 cotton and um, 15 rayon. So it's a mix. It'll wash and last well. I love how it's the wider crew, you know, kind of relaxed crew and nicely fitted sleeves. I'll show it to you out. Just basic t-shirt, like I said, and they call this an active. You have to know your sections in Ross to find what it is that you're after. We will move on. Another clearance item for $4.50. This is a marled or heathered blue. And it's a turtleneck, but it's very loose. It's not a choky yatty turtleneck. And then it has this little cutout just on this one side. Long sleeves. They're a teeny bit shortish to where if I come out they pull up a little bit. I'd like them to stay down there, but they don't. Bit cropped a little bitish, but if I lift up, I mean barely anything shows. And it's quite soft. I think it's probably a polyester blend or perhaps all poly. 57 poly, 10 rayon, and spandex. Yeah. But it's a it's a beautiful blue that's in here. Let's see if I can yeah, it's just not showing up properly. It's kind of a a mid-range denim blue. It's really cool, mixed with white. And so this will wait for fall. <laughs> and uh, I will wear it then, but it's so soft. I love it. On to the next two new items. This is a pair of Calvin Klein jeans that we'll get to in a minute. And this top is by a brand called Mine, and it was on clearance for $2.50. I've done the sleeves this way. This, it does have the roll tab, but you can undo it. And then the sleeve is full length. It has a two button cuff, but I didn't button it because I'm just gonna be taking it off again in a second. And it is an incredible, incredible feeling fabric. Um, it does have one unfortunate thing that I'm not a huge fan of, which is the boob pocket. 
but it's not too bad. As you can see, it's this lovely uh, off-white and mustard. And it looks like stripe, but it also has shimmer in it that gives it a little bit of a plaid, which is very interesting. Here's what it looks like. It looks like tucked in. Nice long back, so it could be worn with leggings. I will pull it out. It kind of almost has a uh, straight front and then the notch at the side that then allows the back to be longer. And this is 100% rayon. And it is incredibly comfortable on. It's quite soft and quite lovely. I will go ahead and get to the jeans with the next shirt because it's easier to show them with a different kind of shirt. But I mean, $2.50, for goodness sakes. I mean, you can do this over a bathing suit top and jean shorts and leave it unbuttoned and it's soft and wonderful uh, for going to the beach or you could tuck it into some slacks or a skirt and, you know, dress it up or dress it down. It's very versatile and the, the color is just the perfect mustard. Be right back with a different shirt and we'll talk about the jeans. This shirt, is by Mark New York and the body of it is like a stretchy t-shirt type material and then these pleated ruffles are a you know polyester material and I wouldn't wear them with these jeans but you know here we are we have what we have I have a pair of high-waisted wide-legged cuffed full-length um, pants that I think will just look so amazing with this. It'll be like the 1950s movies where the ladies, you know, trot into the office with the rolled pant cuff and the sleeves that are like this and just walk into the room and own it. And so that's my plan. <laughs> but this is just a very, very nice material. It feels nice. It is viscose with spandex, and then the sleeves are, like I said, polyester. And it's a very just easy, comfortable thing to wear. You can see under here, it has a decent arm, but the little ruffles come down and meet up right here. And it's just fun. I like it. And this, um, was seventeen dollars. So let's go ahead and talk about these pants. Okay, they are button fly. The pockets work. Teeniest little bit of distressing right there, and that's really all there is. But pockets work. High waisted ish, almost actually makes it to my waist. But then they have the cut hem, and they are actually long enough. I like that. I like that very much. I find that Calvin Klein seems to have a, a longer length, and it makes me happy. So I'll go ahead and give you the front, side, back. I also like how his pockets are up higher, so it makes the booty look nice. Move on. A few more things and then some jackets. This shirt is tons of fun. This was on clearance in the junior section for $10. Well, $9.99. Um, I love the color in this. It is a dusty peachy pink. And the fabric, as you can see, has texture in it. And then it has the tie sleeves. So you can adjust as needed to fit your arm properly. A little bit of a you know combo between the boat neck and just a standard neck. Then we have ruching at the waist that then goes out into the little boop. So you can hide anything that you don't care for in there. Normally on a lot of these tops, what I find is that they do the waist and often the waist will be too high. It'll sit up here and then I think that makes it, everything look bigger because it's not sitting on the smallest part. And it also makes you look kind of short or something. And then this little part is 
short and it looks cut off and it just looks bad but this one seemed to have nice proportions to me i liked it very much this i can wear with jeans like i am now and be perfectly happy with it with some little sandals or flippies or wedges you know or i could put it over um, a pair of slacks or a skirt and be just as happy uh, i wouldn't wear a flowy skirt with this i don't think i'd probably wear a pencil skirt you know floofy on the top and fitted on the bottom or floofy on the bottom and fitted on the top keep some balance but i actually just love this it's just so cute and comfy let's take a look here 100 percent rayon <laughs> i should have known um but i just absolutely love it and um ten dollars for goodness sakes and i have never heard of this brand before and like I said, it was in the junior section, so young contemporary does not surprise me, but uh, twine and string. But I just absolutely love this, and the color is just perfection. So we'll go ahead and move on. I have two tops, and then some jackets, and um, one more pair of pants, and some jumpsuits, and then shoes. We have a lovely Ann Taylor Factory navy blue top with these leaves, but if you look, you can see that the leaves are actually made up of little polka dots. So it's kind of like an abstract take at leaves, I suppose. Underneath your little flutter sleeves, it comes down sort of low, but it does so in a way that you can't see my bra. So that's kind of nice, little fluttery sleeves that then hook up under here right there and it's just a polyester fabric and it does have a little button back here for i suppose it's supposed to be for ease of taking on and off but i didn't need to undo it to get it on comes down in the back to a nice decent length that's good for leaving in or tucking out here is what it looks like untucked it's a little bit boxy but that's okay i mean you know, a lot of times you tuck this kind of a shirt into a pair of slacks and it looks amazing. And I think even left out and being, quote, boxy with these flowy, fluttery sleeves, it actually doesn't look bad that way either. And the, the little dots um, seem to be just shy of white, but not quite up to cream. Um, but it's just lovely and beautiful. And this was on clearance for six dollars. Well, five ninety nine, but you know, six. <laughs> and we'll move on. We have on some new jeans. These are Nine West, and they are a straight leg raw hem, and they come three, four fingers above my ankle. They are extremely soft and extremely comfortable. Zipper button. Front pockets work, back pockets work, and these were $14.99. This top, the coloring is just gorge. It's like this dusty, taupey rose, and then as you can see here, there's like little orange in some of this cream. This up here is all smocked. It does come up a little bit like a mock neck, but I'm okay with that. It is a, a brand I've never heard of. Perhaps some of you had. And there you go. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> so I won't try and butcher it. But um, yeah, no. This is what it looks like out. Just a very simple A-line top. Very flowy and loose. Lots of room in there and sort of a striped tie-dye pattern. 60% rayon, 40% cotton. And of course, they say exclusive of the elastic. Well, yeah, duh. Uh, but um, I think this is a very lovely top. It comes nicely under the armpits. Won't give you any trouble showing your bra. So that's wonderful. And we will use this as the under for all of these jackets. Let me get my necklace out of there because that's bugging me. Um, at work, I need to have 
you know, sleeves. I can't have the armpit showing. So I had to pull some options that would give me short sleeves for the summer. I have cardigans and, th and little jackets and stuff like that that are three quarter or full sleeve, but nobody wants that in the summer. So I grabbed uh, this and a white one just like it that I won't bother trying on because I'm putting this one on for you, but these, it's the exact same thing, just one in black and one in white. And you could wear them, you know, buttoned as a shirt, but what I got them for is to wear open like this over my sleeveless tops that I have a whole bunch of from the good old days in the office. Um, you know, I have a bunch of like um, Paul Mitchell, or not Paul Mitchell, um, a bunch of little shells um, that I have that I used to wear under little um, blazers and such. And this has a nice little balloon sleeve but it's very stretchy and comfortable and it does have the four buttons and they are coordinated on this black one as well as on the white one. The buttons on that are white. Let's see, they're both 52 viscose, 26 poly, 20 nylon and um, will serve their purpose admirably. I like that they come down to just above the elbow because a lot of times I need to use my arm, you know, getting into places, and if I have a sleeve on there, then it can get caught, and that's annoying. And the length is good, comes to, you know, upper upper hip bone is right here, so it comes just below that. So that's gonna serve me well. And this one and the other one were $16.99 each. Oh, and look, comes with a spare button in case you lose one of those, and this is by Philosophy Republic Clothing. So that's handy. Then I got this by 89th and Madison. This is, um, I didn't have just a plain tan um, cardigan. And I wanted one to wear with my little tan booties and I was stuck. <laughs> So I nabbed this. It has three little silver buttons here on the cuff. And then all of this is interesting because you can see over here is a very fine knit. And then we have these lines that kind of swoop in. There are no pockets, but that's fine. I don't really care about pockets for work. It's just a very good, good length, you know, comes under my butt that much covering all of that. And of course I could just pull the sleeves up if I wanted to. And if I need to, I will. And let's see. Uh, 89th and Madison. Manufacturer's suggested retail price is $54. <laughs> and uh, Ross, $14.99. So $15. Way less than what they say I should get it for. Uh, I got this white one, which is uh, 89th and Madison as well. Uh, suggested retail price by them is $48. Ross price, $9.99. Uh, let me toss this on because I find this one cool. It kind of skirts the edges of the rules and that makes me <laughs> happy. You can see it's a short length, it kind of uh, just, just past my waist, but the sleeves are sheer. And then it has the stretchy, um, a cuff, stretchy ribbed cuff, ribbed cuff along the bottom, very fine weave here, and the ribbing along here. But I'm meeting all the rules. I'm wearing sleeves, I am wearing long sleeves, but they're sheer, so it's not going to be hot <laughs> and uncomfortable. So I, I had to grab that. I, I giggled about sneaking around the rules with that one. And um, I'm excited to put that into rotation. Now, as some of you may know, uh, I have been hunting for a jean jacket and I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, ugh. So I went with a couple different options. Um, this one is White House Black Market, uh, double zero. And I wanted to show you these amazing buttons. It's hard to get a good 
he got them without the glare from the sun. There you go. I'll try and block the sun for you. Um, and it's kind of almost a, a blazer style. Um, let's see, there's also this up here on the shoulder. This isn't denim, it's like the, the little edging ribbon. And they have the same thing here at the cuff. And this, like I said, is a, a White House black market. Let's see if they have the suggested retail on here. Nope, it's called the Everyday Soft Denim. And the price on this is $14.99. I think that this would be um, great for over dresses and such where just a regular denim would be kind of not dressy enough if you know what I mean but as you can see it's nice and fitted so over a dress you could do it up and it would look quite nice and it would make me happy to have it tuck in at the waist instead of just be like a lot of jean jackets are and the length on the sleeves is good so I can like raise my arm up and it still stays on my wrist. It's extremely stretchy and comfortable. These little pockets here actually work. And these little pockets here have a snap and actually work, though you couldn't really put much in there and I wouldn't anyways, but they're there if you need them. Stick a little key fob in there, I suppose, if you need to. But I just love how it's form fitting and it tucks in and it's a nice dark, dark denim. So to me, that kind of is more, you know, dressy denim, I suppose. So I really liked this one. So I brought it home to try and it actually fits beautifully. So I think that this will definitely stay in my collection. This is a, a double zero. Um, let's see. Uh, 57 cotton, 22 poly, 10 rayon, 1 spandex. Um, and I love how the collar is like a blazer. I mean, it's it's basically a denim blazer. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. But I knew that that would not be casual enough. So I hit the junior section. And this is by a brand called New Look. And this is $11.99. And I figured this would be the standard everyday jean jacket. Because I don't like them when they're long down to here and they make a box all the way to your wide part. Um, this one, though, seems almost uh, a little bit too big. I grabbed a medium because I was nervous. And I'm not sure that I should have, because I really do have a lot of extra room. But if I don't button it, which I probably wouldn't um, as a casual jacket, I think it's fine. Um, there is another jacket there that I was looking at that I may end up going back for that I think was a, um, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it might have been Calvin Klein, where it was shorter like this, but it had the raw edge on the bottom instead of the cuff like this instead of doing the banding you can see this does have pockets and these are real pockets as well and um, the inside is actually a pocket you know how a lot of these it's just open at the bottom or open at the sides this is this is sewn all around so that is an actual pocket as is this one so you do have two inside pockets and four outside pockets it is stretchy. I think that it would serve well as the, you know, everyday denim jacket, but I'm not sure that I love it. Um, but at you know, $12, <laughs> I think that it can hold me over um, and function as what I need it to until I find one that I am absolutely in love with, if you know what I mean. And then, you know, you have to have the white one, right? This is White House Black Market, and it is $14.99. And get this on. Get up here and show you. These buttons are gold, and actually they're snaps, not buttons. So that's fun, and it's also a shorter length which I like. And this is um, 
larger, it's, you know, going to give me quite a bit of room. But like I said, I, you know, wouldn't really button it anyways. And the sleeves are quite long, but when I put my arms out, they're actually just perfect. It's very stretchy. I like it. It doesn't have any pockets here on the side, which is strange. And there's no pockets inside. There's only these, but that's okay. I mean, you know, pockets up here wouldn't really get much use anyway, so I'd probably just, you know, do this. So I'm not too mad about it, to be honest with you. And having a white jean jacket for under $20 that is extremely stretchy and extremely comfy makes me happy. Let's look here. 90% uh, cotton, 8% poly, 2% spandex. And, um, you know, White House Black Market, this sucker's probably like $100. So I was happy to find that for that price. Then we move on and it's not a jean jacket. What we have here, White House Black Market Blazer. And this was uh, $14.99. This is 55% linen, 42% lyocell, and 3% spandex with 100% poly lining. This is completely lined and I'll show you the buttons on this we have the tortoise shell buttons we only have one button in the front and that's okay because like I highly doubt that I'll ever even button it but look at that look at the way that it just tucks in and it's just staggeringly beautiful it is plenty stretchy enough I can hug myself without breaking something. The only thing I don't like is there's a teeny bit of a shoulder pad. <laughs> Can't believe shoulder pads are back. It's heartbreaking. Um, these pockets are actually real, but you have to cut them open and then you have to worry about, you know, pulling and whatever. And so I probably won't because I'm never going to put anything in there. I like how when I put my arms out, it stays at my wrist. I love the way this sucker fits and for that price it's just ridiculous and for those of you who linen bothers you remember it is fully lined even in the sleeves the lining is fully lined so it won't bother you and oh just I did a happy dance in the store when I found this not gonna lie okay so we are down to two clothing items and then the shoes be right back Okay, I'm going to start back here so you can see that it's a cropped wide leg. Nice jumper. It has pockets. It does have the faux wrap and there's a snap right here to try and help you keep your world together. However, that snap, if put under a small amount of stress, gives. <laughs> so fair warning on that. Uh, it does have elastic along the top of the back, so that's nice. It helps it to kind of snug up. Now here's, and it does have adjustable straps, just so you can see. It does have adjustable straps. I would have to wear a different bra, but whatever, it's try-on, we're going to pretend. Um, this is a junior's, uh, so I sized up to a small, and I'm not sure that I should have. Um, I have about an inch between where my crotch actually ends and where the pants think that my crotch actually ends. And I had to yank the straps up, like, I mean, almost, you know, more than half the way. Um, and the pockets, because of the sizing thing, I mean, look what they're doing. They're doing that sticky outy thing. So, um, I don't know. It's a very, very, very comfortable and soft fabric, and I like it um, on. It feels magnificent, but I am not sure that, well, $9.99, it, it's definitely worth that. I can lounge around the house in that for that and feel real good about it. Uh, this is the brand J for Justify. And any of these bodysuits, you're going to actually find them in dresses. <clears throat> and that's where they live, is in the dress area. Um, I 
really love the fabric. It just feels so soft and cozy, so I might just keep it um, because of that. And you know, I wouldn't have a problem running errands or anything in this, but I don't think that I would put this on to purposely go out and look cool. <laughs> Uh, but I would certainly put it on to purposely go out and look comfy. So uh, for $9.99, I think I'm probably just going to keep it. It's not worth returning when I can use it and have some fun with it. On to the next. We have the last clothing item on. This is the jumpsuit by BB Dakota. It has attached ties they don't go all the way around they just attach here and so you can tie it front or back as you prefer I liked it in the front just a little bit off to the side that's what made me happy it is obviously in black short sleeved as you can see it has a teeny bit of a drop sleeve crew neck in the back it has the little single button up here that makes your little keyhole full length wide leg uh, suggested retail it has the BB Dakota tag on it saying to sell it for $99 uh, I got it at Ross for $9.99 it is an incredibly soft fabric you can wear this with flip-flops and be completely casual do flip-flops and a ball cap if you want or you can put on heels and tons of jewelry and take this to dressy Audi lounge so I am extremely happy with this jumpsuit for $10. Heck yes, and it is so soft. I'm not sure what the fabric is. It's, the tag is in here somewhere, so I can't, you know, gonna, let's see if I can get to it here. See what it tells me. Uh, rayon and elastine. So yeah, that would be why it's so soft. It's the rayon. That was a fun way to look at my tag. <laughs> so this is this is just amazing. This is the kind of fabulousness that I am willing to shuffle through the racks for to get, you know, a hundred dollar item new with tags for ten bucks. That's just everything you could ask for in a black jumpsuit it is fabulous and why I go to Ross. I mean I have a whole bunch of White House black market stuff here. None of it cost even $20. It's, I love Ross. So what I'm going to do is move the camera and we will talk about some shoes. These I have four pairs that I got because I was woefully under undershod <laughs> for spring and summer. This first pair is a little wedge sandal. This on the bottom is a nice rubber. And then we have the cork. This is actually Velcro there. Little metallic, soft, kind of a pewtery gold. Elastic straps here, solid strap here. Cushy cush on the inside. And these are by Ann Klein Sport. They are ridiculously comfortable. And I love them very much. This is what they look like on. And we will move on to the next. These are just a simple slip-on black wedge uh, by a brand, a a Catalina, or a I think it's just Adelina. There we go. I like the stitching on the side there and how the heel is split up so it's not just one solid tan heel. The leather, well, faux leather, I'm sure, comes down and has stitching along here. I think it looks cool. Then we have this little buckle with some blingy bling on it. And it's just a simple crisscross. Um, it has quite good padding and see these little air holes in there so it doesn't make that squeaky squeak that some do. I'm not sure if some of you have run into that, but when it doesn't have the little venting, it can squeak. But here, you can see the, the squishiness of these. And this is them on. It's just very simple, very comfortable, easy to toss on and easy to roll in. Woohoo!
can wear them with shorts or a dress. On to the next. These are just a little cork wedge heel with the suede right here at the top. White. This is elasticized, so you do not actually have to undo it to get in, and that's elastic on both sides. Has the little crisscross along the top of the foot. Nice wide band here. I find that when there's skinny little bands, they rub and cut into me, and I don't like it. These also have uh, some squishiness going on here, and they are by Life, Life Stride Soft System. So very comfortable. And um, all of these have like the, the almond toe, which is what I prefer. I don't like things square or too pointy. And here they are. One more pair. This last pair is also just a small wedge. We have a dif difference on this one is the, the brown leather is on the bottom and then there's a little bit of cork right here. They have a wider braided crissy cross going on across the toe area and then the way they're hooked on is right here. You just slip that through and it's Velcro. So it's nice and easy to do, um, very comfortable super squishy right there and these are soft um, by Eurosoft and just squishy everywhere super comfy and you know bendy so walking in them is like walking barefoot but they let you in the store <laughs> here they are on And that's all the shoes. Be right back. I had taken all the tags off of the shoes and I had to go and find them. So I will give you the pricing on the shoes now. Okay, the Eurosoft, which are these ones, the brown ones, these were $22.99. These, the gold ones, were $24.99 for Anne Klein shoes. That's ridiculously cheap. Uh, these white ones were $17.99 and the black ones were $19.99. So all of these shoes were under $25 a pair and they are high quality and just absolutely wonderful super comfortable and I've already worn all of them to be honest with you <laughs> I, I have a problem that's part of my problem with hauls and, and all of that is that it's so hard for me to not immediately run out and about <laughs> in whatever I want and so I lose tags and then I'm like oh crap no I can't tell you how much things were um, I do want to point out all of the prices that I've given you are the prices that Ross sells items for. I even showed you some of the tags. That's what Ross sells items for. However, I work at Ross, so I get 20% off of that. And um, at certain points in the year, uh, employees get 40% off of whatever the price is of Anything except for um, fine jewelry and electronics, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, I'm generally buying clothes and shoes anyways and sheets and things like that. So all of the prices that I gave you are the Ross prices. However, I paid 20 or 40% less than that, depending on when I purchased them. So, you know, I, I was bored. Um, you know, stay-at-home mom and I was bored out of my brain, and I walked into Ross looking for something, and they had this big sign that said, why not work where you love to shop? And I was like, hmm. So when I got home, I looked up online what their employee discount was, <laughs> and then I applied, and I've been working there ever since. And uh, you know, it's part-time, and I love it. So uh, while something that says that it's $20 is, $20 if you go to Ross and find it I am paying four dollars less than that so just wanted to let you guys know on that that my my Ross hauls don't cost me as much as the tags say they do <laughs> thank you for sticking with me through this long haul
拜。